Yes. John Momis, now retired, was a long-time politician and in 1972 was handpicked by the late Grand Chief Sir Michael Thomas Somare to lead PNG to independence through the Constitutional Planning Committee, which finalized PNG's constitution. In 1972, John Caputin and I, who were contemporaries in school in Australia, were both elected to parliament, and we met Sir Michael. And Sir Michael said to us, I think you people, I hope you are not brainwashed by our brothers in Australia. And Caputini talk, no gatolgeta. Mipla lo rebolia. So he was very happy to recruit us and we became his close collaborators in developing a constitution which in the national goals and directive principles clearly talk about the kind of society, an egalitarian society, which the people of Papua New Guinea dreamt about. Momis, who spoke at the Grand Chief's funeral yesterday, was Sir Michael's deputy in the Constitutional Planning Committee. But the two founding fathers of the Constitution first met in 1965, back in Wiwek, after church. My first encounter with Michael Thomas Samare was outside the Wirui Catholic Cathedral in Wiwek after Sunday Mass, 1965. Ignatius Kilage from Simbu, Leo Hannett from Bowenville, Alexis Sare from Bowenville and myself were students at the Holy Spirit Seminary. Little did Momis and his colleagues know that the dinner invite by Sir Michael was the start of collaborations towards charting a course for an independent Papua New Guinea. Buka, na simbu, mibla kamwe, mibla toko, mibla sumatinia, mibla school or seminary, na mikirab na toko, misabe, mibla no kat Mary, mibla kamlong house, na mikim mibla gutla kai kai. Of course, we accepted that with relish. He did not know us at all. And yet, he invited us to his home at the foot of Wewak Hill. Little did we know we would be collaborating, Kilage, Leo Hannett, Dr. Sare, myself, with other leaders of this country to not only talk about independence, but to actually prepare the mama law for this country. Momis and his colleagues from the seminary knew well the issues faced by PNG under colonial rule and were very vocal through publications of their own. But Momis did admit that unifying a diverse nation under so many challenges brought on by colonialists would be hard. At the seminary we had a newspaper, <clears throat> a student newspaper called Dialogue. In this newspaper we raised a lot of issues about the injustices by the colonial government, planters, and even the churches. We said the churches must recognize and accept that there is such a thing as human dignity, that people have rights. There was a lot of colonial race, racism, injustices, discrimination, and other issues that affected the lives of Papua New Guineans in such a highly diversified country that it was very difficult for anybody to even think of creating a United Nation. But it did happen, an independent Papua New Guinea with a unique constitution that stood on the five goals and directive principles, the very principles that were a collection of Papua New Guinea's views 
with Somare at the helm of it all, guiding the canoe and brought together a unified nation into existence. For a highly diversified country such as ours, uniformity would not work. So, as you know, the second goal of the Constitution is equality and participation, which means giving the people of Papua New Guinea, in accordance with the principle of subsidiarity, some measure of autonomy, some measure of independence that would allow them to participate not only in governance, but also in development. And I think that is why the people of Papua New Guinea accepted independence. In the at the beginning, people were not very keen to have independence because the Highlanders, and I did not blame them, said, if we become independent, all numbers man by by Bosimumi. Well, he said, it's all white skin, all man, all numbers, that's all. And I remember Sir Te Abal asking me, I was a priest then, he said, Padre, Somebody talk through and me trick him you me. Look at me trick him you mean I sink him you mean I meet. Then I said to him, no God. Somebody talk through and me steer man long canoe long you me. And to sin down long canoe. You na me sin down long canoe. You me get a sin down long canoe. So as canoe he go down. Somebody too by go down. Now me talk M straight. Me now me believe. Really, Sukina, National MTV News.